Oh, Calcutta. Yeah, you remember him. Yeah. <laughs> Lived down on 3rd Street. <laughs> He's, uh, Laban Johnson? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, everybody. I'm Uncle Lair. Hi, Uncle Lair. That! <laughs> oh, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> Our staff is, I guess they're lip, lipping, <laughs> lipping their chops. <laughs> I just found this. You know, we've been doing this show for such a long well, it time. It fits your little pointy head it real really well. Does. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, this hair looks kind of weird, but that's uh -huh. all right. Oh, oh, for, well, anyway. You look like Carla from The Little Rascals. <laughs> <laughs> I just found this up in, the, up in the draw a while ago, and I just thought, well, it's just a beautiful hat going to waste, it so why not go for it? Quite, quite lovely. Why are we calling this the old Calcutta show? Because this is a, an Indian show. The cookies were in uh, India last and sent us these two recipes. So these are recipes from India. Ah, mm -hmm. and speaking of recipes from India, I have a letter from Richmond. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what that I means. don't know either. Got this some time ago. This is a real letter. You know, we make up a few letters sometimes. Oh, right? this, one's this one's real. This one's real. Dear guys, I was watching your show just the other day, and you were complaining about the knives you were using. You know, we always seem to be a perpetual complaint that we have here at the station. Because we, uh, until this year, we've never had a decent knife in the building. We had one, but they were using it in the front office on mm -hmm. each other. So I decided to send you two, two knives that we had around the house. My mother said something said they sell for 42 cents a piece. <laughs> it's a special deal. This has a bunch, she has a bunch of them. I can't read this person's writing. And she doesn't use them. So I hope you enjoy them. I sure do enjoy your show. Your friend, and I won't tell who this is, this is a, a viewer down in Powhatan, Virginia, which is close to Richmond. And lo and behold, right there <laughs> with, with the little covers on so we wouldn't hurt ourselves uh, are two fine little knives and the reason i won't give her name is because i believe it's illegal to send these oh. the <laughs> we could get this person put away well, that's just the size for the one we need to bake in your cake to help you get out of prison i was gonna say that's <laughs> funny you would say that because i was gonna say i hope this girl stays in touch because when johnson and i end up in a clink you can send us a file the same well, way now, we'll be able to <laughs> now if you oh, want to warm the nice. cockles of your heart what? and your cockles certainly need warming oh this week. my yeah, my cockles about uh, I don't know about I, don't know. I, don't know. I, don't know. I want to tell you I think Tom Cronell you know Tom our, our, oh yes our uh, fine uh, uh, person uh, here who right, works who, with us who uh, makes sure that everything is cleaned up and looks nice around here Tom was telling me the other week that he would be glad to donate that lovely knife that they gave him at Christmas time to <laughs> 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 use on our set and, uh, and I'll throw mine in too <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> okay. Well, let's uh, let's go over to the table and oh, look at this Oh, you're not going to give thing. us a tip? I thought you always gave well, us the, a tip. Well, the, the tip uh, is uh, over there. The no, the tip I'm going to give at the place because oh, I have I to explain see. it. Oh to well, them. I don't mm -hmm. want to. Uh, show your hand. No, you don't want to tip ah, in too far. That's right. Anyway, thank you for the letter. We always enjoy the letters. We always read them when we can. Sometimes yes. they're a little rough to read, but anyway. And right. thanks for the knives. We appreciate it. In fact, I, I, I'll take that with us. Yes. Just so the staff members don't hurt themselves <laughs> on them. I'll put them away over here. Anyway. Well, if they're sharp, we have to be doubly careful. I don't know what it is you're cooking, Johnson, but it smells good. Well, what I'm cooking is something called ghee rice. This is what he was cooking earlier, <laughs> ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Well, I want you to see one of Johnson's true disasters. While he was preparing to get on the air with this program, he totally forgot these. What are these little nuggets? These little, these little black things. Well, once here. they were almonds. These little almonds. Those were once almonds, ladies and gentlemen, and they are no more almonds. No. He has totally. What would you say? It's like little briquettes is what they are. I swear, every time I cook something and it, it gets like that, you call them briquettes, just like you did my fine dressing. It's, it's terrible. <laughs> anyway, this, this is a rice recipe called ghee rice, and ghee is a kind of Indian butter that has been processed. Uh, ghee? I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Put a K with it and you'll find out what you are, fool. Come in here and give me a lot of hard time. Anyway. <laughs> uh, and I'm starting out with a quarter of a cup, that's half a stick of this wonderful thing. Could I have another spoon? I don't want to no. foul this one with this uh, particular flavor. <laughs> well, I cooked, no, I cooked a batch earlier without a spoon. I guess I can do another one. 
Anyway, if you can find Guy in Such your local old grump, <laughs> All right. if, you, if you can find Guy, use it. Uh, it's wonderful. Where do you get it? It's Where do you a highly. Find it? You can find it in ethnic food markets, uh, Oriental food markets. Sometimes you can find it in there. They have it oh, right we have here a lot in of our. Those here well, in we do have yeah. one, and I went there today, and it was closed up. That. <laughs> they were running on weird hours. So we I, tape. We tape our shows on Mondays. Mm -hmm. And have you ever noticed that about every other thing is closed in this town on Monday? You know, it's outrageous. I don't know why is that. You remember why that is night, everything? Remember that night you and I went to go out for dinner. On on a we Monday evening, two or three different we places. Went to like three was different restaurants, and they were all closed. Every one of them. We we ended up having a picnic lunch at 9:30 at night. And Tell me they don't need to build all that stuff. They could start by <laughs> building that zoo and all that other mess we're proposing for this territory. Lord, they could just entertain us all just by opening all up time. everything on Monday night. That's right. But in any event, I've got one onion in here in a half a stick of butter, and I'm sautéing that. A around and let me talk about some of the other spices talk about the other spices why don't you laban we're going to use nice turmeric ooh which uh, is it? will give everything a very bright yellow cast so this is an indian spice how's come it's spelled t u r that's not turmeric 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 tu i don't well, think you're he, right. i don't turmeric. think he knows how to pronounce turmeric. it properly and i hope our director has it spelled right <laughs> Tur turmeric turmeric I don't know whether you ought to do dishes I don't where know. you use Andy Rooney. If he were on this program, he'd say, I don't believe you ought to do dishes with stuff that you don't know what it is and don't know oh, how to pronounce and don't Andy know how to Rooney spell. makes me tired. Such an old moss back. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> and this is curry this powder. This guy works for the big time. CBS. I mean, don't get no bigger moss that? back. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Jeez. this is curry powder. And you notice this is spelled C-U-R-R-I-E, which is the English spelling. We put Y on it here. Wasn't he in the Rocky Horror Picture? What? Curry Tim powder? Curry. Yeah. Oh, yes. Tim <laughs> Curry yeah. powder. Anyway, Excuse, I got to do I curry. took the head off and I got to do yeah. my hair. Go ahead. Uh, curry is made up of a number of spices, including turmeric. I forgot turmeric. my turmeric. Oh. And uh, there are all kinds of curries. Everybody in India makes their own. Oh, you do they? They're a combination of spices, but we're not using curry in the one today. We're also using these wonderful things, cardamom pods, and these are little uh, highly flavored pods, and they have little seeds on the inside of them. And, I gotta wash uh, my hands because I've had them in my hair. So we're going to have these uh, cardamom pods, and we're also going to have cardamom uh, pods, uh, whole pepper, uh, uh, peppercorns. I, my grandmother used to take little cardamom's liver pods, I believe it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where? It's getting mighty deep in here, mighty deep. Well, I'm just your, trying to add a little levity. Your grandmother. And, to the uh, program, which is right dull today. And whole cloves and stick cinnamon. And you know, this cinnamon is not cinnamon, really. <laughs> Did you know that? No. What is it? Well, the cinnamon trees have virtually all been uh, killed off by defoliation from various war efforts in the Far East. And people. And they're using another tree to what get is, cinnamon bark really? from. Well, how do they get the cinnamon flavor? Well, it's got hmm. a flavor that's virtually the same, but they're not true cinnamon trees. Really? Can you believe that, all that war over there? Fake the casualty cinnamon. of the war was cinnamon. What next? I don't know. All right, now these onions are just about golden brown, and we're going to add to it now some of this turmeric, <laughs> a half a teaspoon if you're out there trying to measure things. All right, there's a half a teaspoon and a little bit for good measure. And we're going to stir this constantly for a minute. Now, as you can tell, Ooh, look how yellow this getting. is getting real yellow. Now. Yeller, old yellow. yellow. You remember that, Jefferson? Yes. That movie? Old Yellow. Uh -huh. I cried. I hated it. I hate animal stories like that. Black Beauty and all that stuff. He Don't cried. like them at all. Cameraman number one. Oh, cried. yeah. He said I he cried. He He's a macho. And big man. I saw him crying time. last week when they said he wasn't going to get a paycheck <laughs> I saw him this week. <laughs> when he saw his paycheck <laughs> this week. <laughs> all right. Now, after that, I'm going to add two and a quarter cups of long grain long rice. Grain. Long grain. Matter of fact, this is. This brand is called Mahatma, which I thought was kind of... <laughs> Can you believe <laughs> Mahatma, I swear it is. And uh, it's extra long grain. <laughs> They've fed them real well and gave them vitamins and it turned them out. grains are getting long, long. out of here. Now here's one cup. You've heard that old term, he's kind of long on the grain. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
There is. Come on, this recipe does go on. So another cup. Mm. And about that's a just quarter. Just real pretty. A cup. Just a pot full of rice. And now, some more. And we're going to stir this all. Now you put that in there raw. Uh huh. Raw, and you're going to stir it around and let it fry. Oh my land. And you have to keep Ooh, getting it up off of there. That. Look at that stuff. Take up off of it. It looks like saffron rice. It's a yellow, but it's not. It's turmeric. 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 All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, Dr. Bly, would you continue to stir this while I oh, uh, put in the okay. rest of the of the spices now? See, he never used to trust me with stuff like this. this well, I big figure time now. anybody, including a machine, can, uh, <laughs> can stir. Well, good. Maybe the next time you can appear All right. Now, here's a couple of whole cloves. Old clothes. <laughs> no, we did that a couple of weeks oh, ago. Oh, okay. And here's eight peppercorns. That's just in case anybody missed the joke earlier. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I dumped some of and, it down the hole. And four cardamom pods. Cardamom pods. Uh-huh. I'll swear I have never heard of half of this stuff. And a stick of cinnamon. Did you ever? And we're going to put in about two anybody's... teaspoons of salt. Do you think anybody's really going to go to the trouble to do all this nonsense? Um, sure. Two. If they want something good, gosh, I hope that isn't burning. Ooh. Seems like something is burning on it, Bly. Well, I accidentally <laughs> dumped a couple of them down. Oh, well, I there. see. It is uh, putting up a, <coughs> a right smart of a smoke. Now, after that's fried for a few minutes, we're going to add Let me this... get my coat out. I'm going to send some signals. <laughs> send... <laughs> Money. <laughs> Here. All right. Oh, just like in that uh, credit card commercial. Here, let me. Woo! What's that now? Chicken stock. All oh, chicken stock. And we're going to add two cans of it. It should be. Ooh, ooh. Let's see how many. Look at them cardigan beads. This is there. three and a half cups of chicken stock, which is two. Well, look at these little cardigan things float around. Uh-huh. They're just real cute. They just bob around like ivory soap. Uh-huh. Except I don't think you'd want to use that instead of ivory. I don't think it would do much good. Now you're going to put two cans in? We got, yeah, we got three and a half cups. That's two of this size cans of chicken stock. Well, you need to put little anchors on those cardigans. They won't go down. <laughs> They're just popping around, floating around, having a good time. All right, and this is now. All right, bad boy, as soon as you come to a boil, we're going to put it down on simmer and let it simmer for 20 minutes, and then we're going to add some uh, raisins to it. Uh-huh. Okay. Black. Oh, hit it. I'm on. It's okay. all yours. I'm going to do something called sambal. <laughs> <laughs> What's it mean? It's really, it's some kind of a, an Indian relish type dish. Well, no, no. If you want India relish, you just go to the grocery store and ask for it. I mean, they've got it there. No, no, no. But anyway, what we're going to do... Now, I did this recipe last night. You need about three medium-sized to large firm red tomatoes. But these are kind of piddly small ones, being this time of the year it is and all, so I'm going to do four of them. What I do is cut them in half, and then I squish out the seeds. That's a real good shot of my armpit there, boys and girls. Squish out the <laughs> seeds, all right? <laughs> Sorry, Dave. Got carried away. Anyway, uh, you know, put that in there. There you go. Yeah, that's what I wanted you to see. I knew you wanted to see that because it's so appetizing. Just squishing the seeds out of them, see? Hi, boys and girls. All right, we're going to cut four of those in half and do that just real quick. Don't have to spend a lot of time on it. This is to, just to seed them a little bit, all right? I didn't want all those seeds in there. People like Johnson have diverticulitis and everything else. A lot of and cooties and all the seeds. Cooties and terrible oh, diseases. for goodness happen. sakes, Lair. Uh, you, you just got to be careful. In our face. Them. And you got to look out for them, so get those seeds out. Uh, now what we're going to do, very quickly, I will tell you that yesterday I cheated a little bit on this recipe. What I did is instead of going to the trouble of cutting all of these up, which we're going to do right now, you've got to move all this stuff up. What I did yesterday is I threw all this in my fine, expensive food processor. I have a Cuisinart at home, and I just threw it all in there and went, boom, and that was it. But if we did that on this show, it would be an extraordinarily short program, and we would be filling from now to who whatever. 
So I'm just going to cut this stuff. Too laid to rail. Too laid to rail. Let's, <laughs> we're going to just chop this stuff up by hand because it'll take a lot longer and it'll fill a great deal of time on the program. So just bear with me a couple of minutes. And the finer you chop that, I almost took a fingernail off. I'm not used to these uh, sharp knives we got here this year. We really do have some good ones. Yeah, they're a lot better than they were. But not as good as they could be. I'm just gonna take them, cut them into little bitty pieces. And you can chop them even beyond that, and that would probably be a good idea. <laughs> well, look what I just found. The uh, staff is snoring off here while I do this, but I'm sorry. Where is Maureen? Maureen, I just found the uh, little spinach leaves that you asked me to save last week for your lettuce, and they sure are a mess. I'll save them for her because her rabbit will eat that stuff. For her, what did I say? For her lettuce. <laughs> for, her, for her rabbit. <laughs> Johnson doesn't We're make We're going to have soup. that rabbit on the show here. Johnson doesn't make it. I have a stuff. wonderful rabbit stew recipe. <laughs> I'm only going to do another half of these because the boys is nodding and girls is nodding off out here. They said this is real dull and let's get on with it. So they get right haughty sometimes. They well, I don't know. This. I think it's real interesting watching your chopping technique. Oh, well, I'm just doing whatever I feel like doing with uh -huh. it. It's nothing special. I'm just mashing it mostly. Okay, take that. And put it in. They should be chopped up a little bit finer than that, but well, I just don't care. Now we're going to take one garlic clove and get that stuff off the outside of it because it's real nasty. Well, you could mash it like that. Well, yeah, you could either mash it, but what I'm going to do is I have this little... Oh, you've got a, a machine. Oh, oh yes, this with. is a squish -o -matic. And just take that and just... I love to watch it shoot out of there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, it didn't shoot out like it normally does. It's not as big as... Well, anyway, there it is. Take that, put that in there. we got to watch it. We're going to get two uptown. We're going to get like some of those other shows. Well, I'm sorry, but I have other things to do when I leave this program, and I hate oh, to go back to my type Get away from here. Like do you really? Garlic, garlic and onions. I hate it. So anytime I can use one of those d devices, you know, to save mm -hmm. myself from smelling like that for the rest of the day, I do it. But now at home, you can be assured, ladies and gentlemen, I, you know, do everything the hard way, the long, slow, hard, arduous way. Now you take an onion and chop that up a little bit. I really am right reckless with this knife today. I'm scared to death I'm going to cut myself with it. But I could see where this would work extremely well in the, uh, in the what you call it, in the food processor. All it does, you just go brum bum, brum bum, bum and that's it's it. all finished. No, you don't even do brum bum, bum. You just oh, do brum bum, bum, bum. bum. Yeah, oh. That's it. It doesn't take but a second. And we might add that both of these dishes are complements to some kind of a curry dish. These are not dishes in and of themselves. They are garnished, not garnishes, but they're a complement. They're a side dish to a, a, a main dish. And I have uh, made up a little main dish uh, for us to have. Oh, have you? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, isn't that nice? Well, I thought it was nice to me because it, it has your favorite uh, flavor. The Oh, does it have curry? Yes, and we know all oh, know how have, much you love has curry. It ha does it have lots and lots of curry? Well, it has a little. Oh, I'll bet. I have never seen this man use a little bit of anything. Okay, one whole onion. Put that in there. Whew. I'm crying real tears. Ugh. Oh, it's just pathetic. Excuse me. to see a great man <laughs> cry. <laughs> I just got the news today. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, now, we need a quarter of a cup of oil, and I would suggest of all. oil. Uh, oh, I thought you meant the laundry detergent. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch it. I would us. suggest to use some vegetable oil. Put There's some of those there. people out there in the foreign fields that don't uh, understand Southern. And you need two tablespoons of vinegar. One, two. And you need some Tabasco. 
Oh, uh, great. I'm enjoying myself so much uh -huh. on the program. Look, look at you cry. <laughs> A little shot oh or two will do. This stuff will take oh, the roof off gonna, your mouth. It's supposed to soothe our palate. Oh, oh, no, oh, I've I, tried it, and it'll take a little bit more than you think it will. <laughs> <laughs> you just wait till you get this first gob in your mouth. You'll see. <laughs> I need a spoon. Oh, I have it right here. Right. <laughs> and then a little bit of a chitty powder. And you have to kind of play around with that a little bit because uh, figuring out how much is enough and how much is not enough and all that stuff is is uh, where it's at. <laughs> you have to taste Here's it several salt. times. And yes, we do need a little salt and pepper. Just a little bit. Salt it up a little bit. You salt, pepper, and chili to taste. So you got uh, three uh, red tomatoes and an well, onion, let's call finely chopped, and clove garlic. I'm just making sure I got everything. A cup of oil, vinegar, Tabasco, chili powder. Okay. Yeah, let's see what goes yeah, in them things. Let's see what goes Isn't in Isn't that pretty? Things. It's lovely. And by the way, that goes in the refrigerator overnight. Does your sample lose its flavor? There it is. On the roof. Oh, that's mine. Post overnight. <laughs> Firm tomatoes. I didn't recognize it when I saw it. It didn't look anything like what I just fixed. One onion, finely chopped. One glo clove of garlic, or a glove if you got it. Correct. <laughs> Quarter cup of oil. I've got tears in my eyes. I can't see. Two tablespoons of vinegar. Dash of Tabasco. I gave it a shot or two. <laughs> Chili powder to taste and salt to taste also. And it's real cheap. You put that in the refrigerator overnight. It's got a sort of blend, and, uh -huh. you know. <laughs> I got to go then, wipe uh, my eyes the while he ghee does rice, it. Yeah. you need uh, a quarter cup of uh, ghee, an, an onion finely sliced, a half <laughs> teaspoon of, <laughs> we've got it spelled wrong, turmeric, uh -huh. <laughs> two and a quarter cup of long grain rice bind, eight peppercorns, two cloves of, of uh, two whole cloves, four cardamom pines, three inch stick of cinnamon, three and a half cups of chicken stock, uh, two teaspoons of salt, a half a cup of raisins, a cup of cooked peas, and a half a cup of toasted almonds. The last two you're going to see in just a second. And where do they have to send to to get these fabulous, oh. fabulous recipes? These well, let's wonderful, see. wonderful recipes. They have to send to a place. Well, where do they have to send well, to? Well, I don't know. I guess we'll find out later. There it is, cooking cheap. And be sure to put program 608 on there. And there is the address. And we'll give it to you again in just a couple of minutes at the end of the show. Now, I think that lovely uh, witch of ours is here with the recipes for next week from the lovely Sisters de Cook. She told us she was going to do a fly-in today, some kind uh -huh. of fly-by, but I don't Whoop. know whether There's, or not she'll be oh it. Well, she is. Oh, look, she's right frisky uh -oh. today. <laughs> All right, pop, cool down, yo. She's frisky. i got to find okay. a spoon. I'll be right back. All right, let's see. I just found a spoon. I'm right Oh, back. it's a long letter. Look. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dear guys, Good here thing we, we're running a little long. Here we are in Kenya. Uh-huh. Boy, what fun. Yeah. Tootsie has been mistaken for a lion three times. <laughs> I guess her hair is such a mess. <laughs> we can't find a single beauty operator anywhere, and our permanent waves are fading fast Aww. in this heat. Here are two recipes for you. Hope you can get someone at the station to translate the Swahili. <laughs> Have to sign off to Safari through the Game Preserve. Hope Toots wears a hat. I don't want to get shot at again, signed sister. <laughs> oh, so now what does this mean? We have African recipes African next week. African recipe. I mm -hmm. never fixed an African dish in my life. Well, I'll tell you, this year is really straining me. You get ready, because we're going to be doing Now, I've got Anytime my dish. you get past mashed potatoes and gravy with me, it's just a big thing. What? What do you got? I've got my dish right here. Ooh, look at Would you this close the door? gorgeous presentation. Look well, at that. That is beautiful. Once you dump your rice out, now this... That deserves a startling yeah. close-up. Just as soon Look as your um, your rice cooks down or begins to, like we've got it here, yeah, you uh, sprinkle about a half a cup or so of raisins on top of it so that they will plump and soften up a little bit. This recipe, but don't is stir it and yeah. then cover it back up for another five or ten minutes till it's completely. But well, we cooked. don't have another five or ten. Well, minutes. I know that's why I've got it all ready. Right oh, here. I get it. And this is our uh, our fine chicken curry that I've done up. And Lair, maybe you could uh, bring the curry over too. Well, I doubt as it. As you come. I have to do everything. Oh, 
Let's put it right here. Uh, it'll probably burn the table. This is uh, this is a little relish, a uh, little relish dish from last night. You'll notice it's a lot uh, different consistency than the one I chopped up. It's chopped up a lot finer. Give you a little of that, and this is used as sort of a relish uh, side dish. Okay, just a little dab will do ya. Here we go. Well, this is so lovely. It smells so aromatic. Mm-hmm. Also smells right good. Who knows? There you that's are. that's great. Oh, well, greatest I know how much you love the. That's the uh, greatest plenty on that. <clears throat> Well, let me try. What am I supposed to be trying first? Well, let's curry. try the curry and the sambal. Mmm. Hey, for once, he's <laughs> a little subtle on the. Oh, that's good. That's let's wonderful. Try the rice. It really is. Now, with that, you need to try a little bit of this mm -hmm. relish. Oh, I did. It's wonderful. Mmm. That did work out. This is fabulous. It's wonderful. This is good. We'll go to Africa next week. We're getting out of here. Bye. When writing for today's recipe, please indicate show number 608. All requests must be sent to this address accompanied by a self-addressed stamped return envelope.